Hey everybody, how is it going? Welcome to Linux Hint. Today I'm going to show you that how you can install and configure Docker on your Ubuntu 20.04. So let's go. So Docker is a container that works on the basis of platform as a service software application. It uses virtualization technology to provide isolated containers for software and tools. These containers use well-defined channels to communicate with each other. I'll show you the easiest way to install Docker on Ubuntu 20.04 and get it running in less than 5 minutes. I'll show you how to download the Docker, enable or disable the Docker upon system, reboot, startup, changing usage permissions for all the users, and that's going to happen in six easy steps. So step number one, first of all, as always, first you have to update your repository. So you would write here sudo apt update. Once you do that, it is going to ask you for the password, put in your password and it would update your repository. Once you upgrade your repository, uh, this is a sub part of step one that you upgrade your repository as well. All right, so once you have updated your repository, now you are going to upgrade it as well. So you would write here sudo apt and then you would write here upgrade, okay? Hit enter and now it would upgrade the repository. So press Y. So it will take some time, so we'll wait. All right, so once you have done that, now clear it. Now we we'll move forward to our step number two. So now you're gonna enter the command that I'm gonna enter here to install Docker. So you would write here sudo apt install, and then you would write here docker.io, all right? Hit enter. It is going to ask you for the password, put in your password, and then hit enter. Now it would ask you, do you want to continue? So press Y, okay? Hit enter, and now it would first download the Docker, and then it would start to install it on our Ubuntu 20.04. So we will wait. All right, so now you can see that we have installed Docker using the command that I just showed you. Now, as a step three, we'll start the Docker and enter the following command to enable it after every time the system reboots. All right, so stay with me and see that what command I'm going to enter. So first of all, let's just clear it. So now I'm going to write here sudo systemctl enable hyphen hyphen now, and then I'm going to write here Docker. Okay, so now I would hit enter and now you can see that it is creating the system link and now it has been enabled. So for disabling it again, you can just type this command uh, and in here instead of enable, you can just write here disable and hit enter and you can see that Docker has been disabled now. Okay. So as a step four, I'm going to show you that how you can give privileges to any user in order to use the Docker. Okay. So right now our user is S Linux hint and there is another user in our system, which is Linux hint. Okay. So if I could show you my current directory, you can see that the user is S Linux hint. So automatically the privileges are already uh, given to the as Linux Hint user, but we also have Linux Hint user. So let's see that if we want to give the privileges to that user, what would happen and how would we do that? So we'd write here sudo, and then we'd write here user mod hyphen a capital G, and then you're gonna write here Docker, and then you're gonna write here the username, which is essentially Linux Hint in our case, okay? So we hit enter, and you can see that it has not given us any errors which means that the uh, user has been switched and changed, okay? So Docker privileges has been assigned to Linux hand user. So as a step five, I'm gonna show you that how you can check the version of the Docker 
So in order to check the version of the Docker, you'll just write here uh, Docker and then you would write here hyphen hyphen version. Okay, so this would allow you to see the version, uh, which is in our case is version number 19.03.8. All right. So as a step six, I'm going to show you that how you can test the Docker by running a command. Okay, so let's say that we want to run a hello world command and what would happen that it would open a container to run the hello world program. So before going to the step number six, what we would do would basically make sure that our Docker is enabled. All right, so we we'll just write here sudo systemcdl enable. Okay, so now uh, we have made sure that it is enabled. So now what we would do, we we'll just run another command, sudo docker run hello world. We hit enter and you can see that it is trying to run hello world and now it has pulled it and there you go so hello from docker you can see that this message shows that your installation appears to be working correctly to generate this match message docker took the following steps and now these are the four steps that it has explained and uh, it has given us few commands here to try something more ambitious you can run an ubuntu container with docker run hyphen it ubuntu bash okay so that's how you can basically test the docker obviously our docker is running right now that's why it was able to pull the details pull the docker container of hello world hope you have liked this video so if we conclude this video docker is a very useful tool in terms of working with third-party software tools as it establishes well-defined and secure channels for communication and it is becoming popular day by day if you have any question regarding this installation you know you can comment below and ask us all right if you like this video give it a thumbs up for written articles you can always visit our website linuxin.com. Thank you so much for watching.